slay, you know that I'm not entertained. You hear the crowd, they screaming my name. I got the stadium going the same. Done with the talking, it ain't no discussion. Tonight, from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, it's Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. The Green Bay Packers taking on the Carolina Panthers. This is such a special place. You drive through the streets of Green Bay, no tall buildings, quaint houses, and then boom, right there in the middle of the neighborhood is iconic Lambeau Field. Tonight, we're on to week two in the NFL season as we've got a good one here between the Carolina Panthers and the Green Bay Packers. Start this drive in the air. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. We'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who is shaken up on that last play. They'll operate from the 32 yard line here, second and three. Looking long for Thomas. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. The intended receiver there, Ian Thomas, and it's third and short. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On play action, they'll throw. He'll buy some time right, and he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year, and part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The Panthers are 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And this would be quite a start for them if they could win two straight on the road. Yeah, the schedule makers didn't do them any favors. They gave them two road games right out of the gate. But the thinking on the team has to be, imagine if we win these two games, what a setup for the rest of the season for us. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Charles Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. Pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys that have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Against a team coming off a win just as your team did the previous week, you talk about being physical all game long. Sometimes being physical is just being on the spot and helping force the incompletion. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own.
Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football. come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll run the screen with Hubbard. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard and it's second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe it'll slow the pass rush down a little bit and they can throw it downfield. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there and it's a first down. A nice throw right there. And Charles, this is game number two in the NFL for this young rookie. His guy's getting the victory last week and he played pretty well by most accounts. Curious, what did you see? I saw something similar to what you described, Brandon, because I saw a guy who looked the part, a guy who was in command. Not just with the touchdown passes, but definitely looked to be in control of the offense as well. And you and I both know that's often uncommon for a rookie quarterback. Pass complete. Finds Thomas going across the middle. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Back to throw again. Throw left side going to be caught by Chennault. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He gets this one to Hubbard, complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 34-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Flush to his right. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. With Charles in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, You've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. Here's second and eight. Eluding the pressure right. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. But he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Touchdown! Ian Thomas from eight yards out. And the Panthers have broken our tie as they take the lead. He's definitely making his mark early in the year from the tight end position. Two games played, two touchdowns. And from what I've seen on tape so far this year, his ability to use the fakes well as a body in the red zone, they should continue to look his way through the entire season.
start on the ground with Hubbard. And he'll work this forward.